Hi, my name is Shagorn Rosary. I am from the beautiful island of St. Lucia. And with the Optronics Digital Literacy Programs, we aim to upskill youth across the Caribbean because we believe that no youth should be left behind. Generation Connect Young Leadership Programme is, as the name probably suggests, about connections and leadership. Launched last year by the UN's International Telecommunication Union and by Huawei, 30 fellowships were awarded to young people, giving them the chance to turn their creative, digital, community-driven ideas into practical reality. And since they come from all four corners of the globe, that's pretty good news for the rest of us. Health, education, agriculture, governance, all of these are projects and solutions in the making. And frankly, the United Nations of the world could certainly do with a few of those. Well, we're here in Geneva this week for the inaugural boot camp of the program. And we're going to be featuring six of those projects, showing off a range of the regional innovations on offer. And the fourth program fellow to feature in our series is Shergorn from the Caribbean island of St. Lucia. Optronics is simple, scalable STEM programs. We have two programs, our junior programs and our digital, digital literacy programs. Those are aimed to students ages 11 to 16, as well as older professionals, to upskill them in the areas of programming, AI, as well as robotics. After they graduate from our programs, we funnel them into our Optronics Innovation Hub, which is a state-of-the-art co-working facility for those individuals that mixes the tech entrepreneurs with the talented youth that graduate from our program. Ideally, what we want is that this cross-pollination creates valuable opportunities for these youth and the companies part of, that are part of it. And is it theoretical at the moment or is it already happening in practice? No, so right now, Optronics has been doing our STEM educational programs with a number of regional organizations like the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, the National Telecommunications Regulatory Commission. The, um, we've worked with the OECS Commission. So we've worked with a number of gov government organizations on the STEM side. And in terms of, of the Innovation Hub, right now it's been actualized with the $200,000 worth of funding that has been um, contributed by the government of Barbados and St. Lucia towards the implementation of this in Innovation Hub. It's got great success already. There's backing for it already. What is it that inspired you to to start this project? So growing up in the Caribbean, it is very difficult to get STEM opportunities. And this is a problem that I face. And when I went to the first global competition in Washington DC, and I realized how great of a chasm there was between my digital skills and my fellow international peers. When I returned to my country, I said I needed to make a difference. Mm -hmm. I don't want this to happen to the person after me or anybody else. So at that moment, the spark for Optronics was born and that's really what catalyzed it to where we are today. And have there been technological challenges along the way in, in setting this up? Yeah, so definitely <laughs> a lot of challenges along the way. Um, especially trying to grow your startup in the Caribbean. What we've had to do, we've had to employ, I would say, various innovative ways of structuring our business model to allow us to grow until we could start sustaining a full-time team. Um, thinking innovatively about how we actually generate revenue to create a sustainable model that do, that doesn't just have to be funded by or external organizations. Or but self generating Yeah, but that can actually provide value for all stakeholders involved. So what can Huawei, what can the International Telecommunication Union through this program, what can we do to help you overcome existing or continuing technological challenges? So in terms of what Huawei could do as an international technology partner, we would love to partner with them to have them as a technology partner, specifically in the Optronics Innovation Hub, because this provides a great pathway for our graduate students coming in, as well as the tech, the tech entrepreneurs working in the Innovation Hub. In terms of what the ITU can do, the ITU can definitely help us further um, create further connections with those government officials, even, even strengthening the existing ones that we have to show that this is something that has international credibility, this is something that can have a global impact. Um, and I really think the ITU can help open those doors as well. So really looking forward to 
um, working with them and, and making those things possible. And let's assume it does happen, you get that collaboration. Mm -hmm. What's the dream outcome in half a decade, a decade from now? So you said that and I got goosebumps <laughs> because my dreams for the Caribbean are astronomical. I see a, a Caribbean where no, no youth in the Caribbean is, is without basic STEM skills. I see a Caribbean that is one of the leading technology hubs in the world. I want it to be the Silicon Forest, as we see at Optronics. Similar to the Silicon Valley in the Caribbean, we will have our Silicon Forest.